Hi there, this is Tom Murphy, and I'm going to demonstrate how to add PowerShell scripts to action tiles within Quick Launch. Um, I'm going to do two, two types of scripts. One isn't going to require uh, any permissions. It'll pretty much run under any user. And that's this uh, uh, get screen resolution, which is just, it'll display a little window that gets a screen resolution, but um, it shows how to wire a PowerShell script into Quick Launch. The second one we're going to wire up um, is a little more complicated in that we want to change the user context that the script is running under. And that's not so straightforward because uh, especially if you want to suppress messages to the user, um, it's not exactly the kind of behavior that, that uh, Microsoft wants to see because somewhat mimics a virus. Uh, it is possible when I run these scripts, you're going to see Windows pop because I'm not sending them to null or redirecting the output. So you'll be able to see that something's going on. But um, if you wanted to customize these scripts to run in your room or on a, on a, on a PC that's running Quick Launch, you could suppress all these messages. You could pass in the username and password and nobody would know uh, what was going on. Um, so again, uh, in order to accomplish this, it, it's a little more complex than just providing um, the credentials because we, the credentials for, for example, for creating registry keys, um, you can't specify a credential on here. You can't uh, get the credential and then and then pass it in as a parameter for a new item. Uh, they just don't allow it. So what we're going to do is we're going to execute a script in a batch file that gets the credential. The user will enter in the username and password. That credential will be um, used in this start process. Um, it passes in the credential and then then we'll call create registry key, which is this script right here. Um, there's another way to do this. If you wanted it to be um, completely seamless and that the user didn't have, wasn't required to do anything, there are examples. Um, there's many of them out there on how to um, get the use a specific user and password, save it to an encrypted file on a disk, call that. Uh, use that file as your get credit as your credential input um, and that way you could run these totally under the covers and nobody uh, would know what was going on they would just click the the, t the action tile on quick launch and then if you wanted to you could you know pop up a window that said uh, action complete uh, but this for this demo we're just going to show uh, how to wire this all in to quick launch so um, I've got a registry editor open here and you can see that there isn't a quick launch key. Um, we've got these two batch files. Let's go into full screen mode. Uh, and I've already created the action tiles just uh, for the sake of speeding along the demo. But we're going to edit them now. Um, so uh, you can see uh, I've got the reg key name, uh, you add the icon, change the color. The only thing we need to do is point to our batch file. So this is the reg key. So we're going to say run reg key batch. And we're going to click OK. And then we'll do the screen resolution one while we're in here. Get out of the editor. Okay, so a simple one, uh, get screen res. This is just going to run a script, and you can see my screen resolutions have uh, been displayed in the window. Okay, we're going to go back to full screen mode. Now, to create the new reg key, we'll click this. This is going to call batch file. The batch file is going to execute a PowerShell script, and then that, that PowerShell script will prompt us for credentials. It will pass those credentials to a second PowerShell script. 
that will be invoked using start process. Um, you're going to see some windows pop up because, again, I haven't suppressed them, uh, but you could do that by directing them to null. Okay, so we're going to run as local administrator. Hopefully I get the password correct. Okay, so it's finished and we can go down into the registry key or the registry hive. We can refresh and you can see QL PowerShell test and QL test data by going to the reg key. Uh, that's the value that we added. Okay, so that is wiring in PowerShell scripts to action tiles. Uh, thank you very much. If you would like to read this article or any other FAQs, click on the link to our support site on the screen. And if you'd like to be notified of new videos, click subscribe now. Thanks for watching.